So welcome back to uh, radiology teaching video. Uh, I'm Dr. Arshad Nadi Mawan and uh, you know that conventional radiograph uh, and uh, specially born tumor, MSK tumor is on discussion. So I'm going to discuss about the non-ossifying fibroma. Non-ossifying fibroma is actually a hematomatous lesion and it's usually seen in first to third decade of life. Patient will present with pain and uh, uh, if there is a pathological fracture, so the patient uh, might complain of pain. Uh, otherwise, it may be asymptomatic. It's usually uh, seen in the trabeculae of the long bone, uh, particularly arising from the long bone uh, metaphyseal as it is metaphyseal, but essentially it is uh, uh, intracortical. Intracarticular metaphyseal uh, location is seen. Uh, another important point uh, worth noting with the non-ossifying fibroma is with the age, uh, or spontaneous uh, involution can cause uh, the bone replacing with the fibrous tissues. And the, another point is non-ossifying fibroma uh, with the age, it may appear as a sclerotic lesion. With non-ossifying fibroma, another uh, thing goes side by side, another lesion goes side by side, and that is called as a fibrous cortical defect, which can be seen uh, usually in children and it, it will be considered as a normal variant. But the, what the difference uh, between the non-ossifying fibroma and the cortical defect is the size. It would be less than 2 cm. If it is less than 2 cm, it will be called as a fibrous cortical defect. And if it is larger than that, it will be considered as a non-ossifying fibroma. Non-ossifying fibroma association is with neurofibromatosis 5% in 5% cases and uh, so far the x-ray of the uh, non-ossifying fibroma is concerned it appears to be intracortical lytic uh, lesion, lobulated lesion with soap bubble appearance. This is one of the characteristic appearance of the non-ossifying fibroma on the x-ray it will appear as a soap bubble as i mentioned it is metaphysically and uh, it is intracortical but it enlarged into the medullary cavity uh, with surrounding sclerosis as well uh, there will be no uh, fracture but if uh, there is it will be a pathological fracture which will be associated with the pain there will be uh, no matrix mineralization and uh, there will be pdr still reaction if there is any pathological fracture you can do a ct scan for that purpose but majority of the points so bubble appearance can be easily picked on the uh, conventional radiograph and uh, it's quite easy to pick uh, these inform uh, these information and these findings as this is a benign tumor uh, you can do the scintigraphy scintigraphy will be uh, useful when the when the case is uh, in active phase uh, if it is active phase so there will be increased uptake but if there is involution as i mentioned then during the involution this uh, bone will be replaced by the fibrous tissues and it will appear sclerotic so uh, normally non-ossifying fibroma in active phase will appear as a lytic lesion but if it is uh, in an involution phase, so it may appear as a sclerotic lesion. So with the differential of the sclerotic and the lytic lesion, non-ossifying fibroma can also be placed. As far as scintigraphy is concerned, in only active phase, there will be uptake, while there will be in, in uh, involution case, there will be, or involution phase, there will be no uptake. So I do hope you will be able to pick the non-ossifying fibroma or fibrous cortical defect in children if it is less than two centimeter. Uh, so hope uh, that this video will be worth watching and it will give you, uh, will give you some useful information. With some new videos, uh, we'll see each other. See you then. Bye bye.